Like right now, I feel like I'm one of the best linebackers in 2019 draft class. To me, I'm the best linebacker. Yeah, walk with that swagger. I play with that swagger. It's just that's just me. You, I don't feel like you can find anyone better. You can find someone faster. Like find someone stronger, but you're not gonna find someone better. It's over 50 NFL guys I've worked with now. So I've been fortunate to train some, you know, great Auburn players, you know, one of them being Trevon Reed. He was just looking so much more explosive and he was looking so so much faster. And so I'm like, bro, like, where you training at? He's like, I'm in Miami with a guy named Evan Byers at Doghouse. And it's a small facility. It's just some great work. It's the best work I've ever had in like my, you know, my football career. Um, I mean, really coming down here, man, I took a chance because I didn't really know much about his facility. But um, I'm ecstatic that I came, bro. I've seen myself make so much progress. I mean, he's developed a lot. You know, it's a credit to Deshaun. I think he came in here a better athlete than, you know, a lot of people give him credit for. You know, I think the people that know him best knew what type of player and athlete he is. He's worked hard, he's taken his diet seriously. You know, he's done all the little things possible that he could do. Uh, you know, I say win each day, and you know, I don't, I don't think he's lost a day yet. I feel more explosive, and I, I actually look explosive now. I look like I'm, I'm getting out of my cuts um, better. I feel like I'm getting out of my cuts better. I know I'm running better. Um, my 40 time has dropped since I've been here. Um, just him, his knowledge for the technique of all the reps and drills that we're gonna do. I know my game is going to another level. I know it, and I'm, I'm just anxious to show it. It's some good work. Tell me. Now, when I first got here, before I got on my diet, I tried to go and get a little, little cheat day in at Zaxby's, and the closest Zaxby's is an hour away, and I almost cried. <laughs> I didn't want to try here anymore. See that, bro? <laughs> His workouts were crazy, man. I was at Auburn for four years, five years, and I mean, I know we worked hard, but coming here, bro, it's just like he know how to he know how to attack all your small muscles that you don't you don't think you have until they're sore the next day. It's my job to bring the energy on a daily basis, but it's always fun when you know the players bring it themselves, and I kind of tune them out when they go into their little dancing zone. Uh, but you know, I let him. I let him get it cranking. And... He's able to grab, you know, and, and show us what we need to do. He's able to be there to watch this and watch this and watch this all at one time. So um, just getting that 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 one on one work and that that closed root work has been great for me. All that work is paying off. You know, all those long nights are paying off. Those early mornings they're paying off. You know, for Deshaun, I think the sky is the limit. You know. He's been playing this game of football for a long time and you know it's his craft, it's what he loves and you know he, he dedicates his life to it on a daily basis. You know his ultimate goal isn't to just make the NFL, it's, it's not to just be on a team or be a starter, you know. You know you play the game to be the best. <laughs> Don't try it at home. Hey Deshaun, this is Jim Nagy with the Reese's Senior Bowl. How are you man? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Hey, you want to come down and play in our 70th annual game? Of course. All right. <laughs> Being from Mobile, you always watch the game and, and just to see it come full circle it was just crazy to just, just be in that moment. It was crazy, but I enjoyed it though. Got a chance to come back and play again in front of the Mobile crowd because he didn't play his senior year. 
it's an experience that I know he's gonna always remember and be able to tell his kids about. Let the team and tackles in the game. I <laughs> just gotta keep, you know, keep doing my thing. And I know, like, when I go to the combine, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something to prove. Also. Two, one. I feel like I'm one of those guys who are kind of you know float under the radar. I, feel like I have I have a lot of production in college. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm a pretty good player, uh, and what I'm here to show is that I am one of those top guys. And, I mean, a lot of people just really wanted to see was I smart. You know, um, did I, I really know football, how people were saying I knew football. And they put me on the board and asked me a lot of questions, but I mean, I, I aced all of that. <laughs> I talked to a lot of teams at the combine, man. Um, I talked to the Patriots, I talked to the Saints. Um, I talked to the Redskins, the Raiders, uh, the 49ers. Um, I talked to the Lions. The Lions really liked me, the Giants. I talked to a lot of teams, man, but that really don't matter. You know, yeah, all, all, all the teams can't take you, even though they say they like you or whatever the case may be, they want to interview and all that type of stuff, man. It's just, I just need one phone call on draft day. I feel like I performed pretty well. Um, a lot of the teams, you know, they came to me and for whatever reason, I, I guess everyone thought I was just stiff or I couldn't move or something, because after the come out and after the pro day, a lot of teams were like, you can flip your hips, you, know, you can actually go side. Yeah, I can. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I have the, the title of a thumping linebacker because I like to go and hit people in the face, and I broke a couple face masks and helmets, so everyone just think I'm just aggressive and stiff, and I just want to run in one direction. You no, know, I'm an athlete also. <laughs> so uh, on that aspect of it, man, I, I feel like I, I, I proved what I, I needed to prove. For the draft, though, I'm going to be in my hometown, um, in Mobile, Alabama, be around some family and some friends, you know, some guys that actually helped me get to this journey, you know, who I want to experience this with, man. So um, it's just like I say, man, my family is big for me. We're going to wait together, and whichever round he goes, we're going to thank God for it. I'm nervous. <laughs> I always tell him, um, I hope you get a team that picks you well, I don't have to go in the cold because I hate cold weather. So, but he was like, man, you better get on that plane and get to that game. Cold weather, no cold weather. So, but he know I'm gonna be there to support him. I don't control my own destiny right now. <laughs> it was just like, I, I put in the work. I did what I was supposed to do, I feel like. Um, so it's just, whatever team like me the most, man, they're gonna take me.